more for the uh, upcoming uh, IGF in Cairo. Thank you, Adiel. I think there's a very promising development in Africa. Is that regional, national, not there's a dynamic coalition? Max, yes, yes. We have to be short, I think we don't have much time. Okay, thank you for giving us the floor. Um, Max Sengis from the Dynamic Coalition on an Internet Bill of Rights. We had uh, two workshops. Um, for one were about mainstreaming human rights and the work of the IGF that we used to um, do a needs analysis. We invited um, representatives from all the dynamic coalitions to get together because, as you all know, human rights are not divisible and they're all interrelated. So um, what we heard in that um, needs analysis was um, that there is a need for a platform for the different coalitions to exchange information and um, update each other on what they are doing. So um, as a result, we um, invited a representative from each of the um, dynamic coalitions and the ones that we haven't talked to um, please step forward and we would like to include you there. Um, so we have a special channel to coordinate a little bit and um, encourage a dialogue between the um, different coalitions. Um, then we heard from uh, um, some of the coalitions that uh, it would be important to find new ways to energize the work of the coalitions. Um, they have not been as dynamic as we would like them to see. So this is something I think that would be interesting to talk about how can uh, the IGF provide more support and enable the dynamic coalitions to be as energetic and dy um, dynamic as possible. Um, then we heard from um, a representative from the private sector, I think an important point, how um, to frame the contributions and the participation of the uh, private sector and of governments to um, speak in their own capacity, to speak as representatives, how can that be framed and um, made more easy to um, yeah, have this multi-stakeholder dialogue. Um, and we're looking into um, framing that and developing um, yeah, the statements and the, um, framing that membership in our coalitions. And then in the um, second workshop, the yearly open meeting of our dynamic coalitions, we clarified that um, we are in fact uh, there to um, enable this dialogue, a platform between the different coalitions to showcase the results and bring together the results of the different uh, coalitions. Um, so there is one place to see um, what human rights actually mean in the context of the Internet, and that uh, is uh, the Internet Bill of Rights. Um, we also um, presented our new website that hopefully uh, will help to mainstream our work where we um, develop the new graphical identity so we can now go out and actually campaign for uh, rights on the Internet and uh, become more of a um, campaigning um, in that sense. We had um, Professor Benedict uh, propose some interesting um, ideas on how to look at the um, W3C and the IETF and their ways on the, um, having a process to mature documents and actually um, come up with the results that are um, standardized you know, instruments in the, in the theme of uh, rights and uh, their interpretation and instruments um, online. We had uh, Cengatai Masango from the Secretariat um, there to give us the perspective on um, what is within the, um, the mandates of the dynamic coalitions and um, we're happy that um, all our work is within the mandate and um, he agreed to help us to connect to other UN bodies, in particular um, the human rights uh, bodies and, and entities within the United Nations system so we can establish a relationship and um, work towards a collaboration with them and report to them or um, have collaborations with them. So some other results um, of this year's IGF are that um, we have a representative from Switzerland um, who agreed to become a full active participant in our coalition and a, a, a representative from France. We're also talking to other governments and looking forward to have more. Um, we have Google joined the coalition and agreed to, uh, to um, seriously explore how we can link up to the Global Network Initiative, which is a self-regulating um, institution that uh, was just created. And of course, as the um, uh, representative from Italy already reported, there is an offer to organize a midterm uh, meeting on rights and principles on the internet in Italy, and we're definitely um, looking into how we can make that happen. And um, a representative from UNESCO came up, so we were w working with UNESCO to um, uh, look whether we can make it um, a part of the biannual general conference. And um, last but not least, I would um, also 
uh, restate, uh, um, as ha Ian Peter and the Italian representative has already done, that um, it would be great if we could have for rights and principles a main theme um, on the next IGF in Egypt. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we have a, the way forward discussion this afternoon where we can address these issues.